Um, my instrument's quite a bit different than his instrument. His instrument is triangle shaped uh, with a long neck that looks like a broom handle, three strings minus four strings. And I'll tell you some of the features and benefits of this instrument and some of the things that happen in, during the evolution of this instrument. So what I did was I thought, okay, well, what if you could do this? What if you could make this thing like this? And uh, it worked. And uh, any time in manufacturing you have three things, you have people, process, and tools. And so the process, you're always trying to pare down the process. You're always trying to get better tools so you get better quality. And then you want the people to fit within the manufacturing of it. So uh, I, I have some people that fit. I have two pot smoking hippies that work for me. <laughs> they show up at the crack of noon every day, which is great. So uh, they, you know, they just have the temperament to do what I do. They work for me part time. And so uh, I kind of like that. They do a lot of sanding. But what's great about this instrument is you can uh, just play a bunch of different songs. You know, you could, um, in fact, I wrote a song for y'all. I wrote it the other night. Um, it's not finished. You're going to have to help me with it because I got what's called writer's block. Y'all ever had that? You know, trying to get a paper done and you have writer's block. That's terrible. But you, you can help me finish it. But let me demonstrate what this instrument does. It took me 23 years before I really started, you know, doing this. Uh, well, it took me 20 years. I, I didn't, when I came up with the idea, I just shelved it in the back of my mind. I didn't do anything with it. It kept ruminating in the back of my mind. This is what I, I want to do. This is what I want to do. Never did it. Went through a divorce, and then I had two choices. I could either drink myself to death, which isn't a good choice, or I could start down the road to make this instrument. So I did. And then I, I by the way, um, I bought, brought my report card from high school. I got a D in woodshop. So just to let you know. Okay, so all these have been made by a D student. Don't let your past define your future, okay? So, um, I, where was I? Oh, yeah, we were, uh, so I decided that, okay, well, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this instrument. I had this vision in my mind, I'm gonna make this instrument. What happened was, uh, I didn't know how to work uh, wood tools very well. So I bought a bunch of tools and then I, bought very expensive wood and then I bought, then I made very expensive scrap out of it. So it was a learning process. So I watched a lot of YouTube videos and it was really, really cool to see people do this. And uh, I'm a member of the Ten Finger Club. I have all ten. I want to keep it that way. Safety first. And so I learned to use these tools to make what I had envisioned in my mind, this thing and how it could change people's lives. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to take people who thought, I can't play an instrument. I wasn't born into the instrument family. Nobody in my family plays an instrument. I don't have the instrument gene. Some people are artists. I just have to be not be one. Uh, some people can keep time. I can't. I can't even play the radio. I've had people say that. I can't even play the radio. I've had so many people come to my shop and say, I can't even play the radio, and I can't wait for them to say that because I say, good, we're not playing radios today, we're playing zippers. Now I'm going to tell you how I got the name for the zipper. What do I call this thing? I, 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 well, it's not a dulcimer. This is a dulcimer. In reality, this is an upside-down, short-scale, solid-body, electric, Appalachian Mountain dulcimer, but that's a mouthful. So I went and online, and I started looking around, and I found um, dulcimers, and I found things that looked like guitars before there were guitars, because guitar is a relatively new instrument, about 200 years old, even though Antonio Stradivarius made one, but it was 10 strings, and it was tuned in fifths instead of fourths, like a guitar. So uh, they called all of those instruments, before there were guitars, they called them loops, they called them lyres, they called them harps, and they call them, in a family of instruments, they call them zippers. It was a family name for all of these instruments.